Hey guys, Shaver1000 here. As you can see, we've got a bunch of stuff here. We're going to try to make a little drill powered pump out of some PVC. Uh, thought I'd do something fun today, so let's give this a shot, okay? Okay, I got this rod here. This is going to be our pump shaft. I need to cut it off at the end. This end seems to have a little bend to it. And that's the end there, I do believe. So, we're going to just cut the end of this off. You know, one way we can find out is we can put it in the drill, chuck it up in the drill. See it wobbling? So I'm guessing it's this end down here. So, we got to make that straight first of all. This is going to be our little propeller, impeller, whatever, <laughs> propeller. This is going to be our guide at the end, kind of like a bearing type deal. This is what we're going to put that on the end of that with, with this tap and die set we have here, okay? So, but again, the first thing we got to do is try to find out where that's bent. And I think it's bent down here on this end. Okay, so let me see if I can find, find the bend exactly where it is. And we'll cut it off. And we'll go from there. Okay, guys. I played around with this a little bit with that hammer. And I think we pretty much got it straight. So this will work. And now... What we've got to do is I've got to cut this off so it can fit inside of here. See that? Now I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we're going to give it a shot. Okay? So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to mark this and then we're going to cut it off. Okay, so I just want to go something like that, alright? Okay, now now we're going to cut this off with the cutoff wheel, okay? But I'm not going to hold this in my hand, alright? So, let me get this cut off, and then we'll see if if this is even going to work or not. This piece may not work. I may have to come up with something different before I go drilling holes. All right, I've got a different plan. I've got a I've got a piece of stainless steel here. That other piece that I cut off is just not going to work. So I'm going to try to make a round impeller out of this, and I'm going to cut it with that. Let me get this drilled out without killing myself, maybe. I hope this don't start spinning on me. Dead battery. That one's not much better. Okay. Plan B. Let me get the electric one. I know this one has enough power. Let's try this one.
Well, that's hardly making a dent. doing nothing. Plan C. That's what we're looking for. Now I've got to make slices in this thing. So let's take this off of our bolt. It's not very centered, so it may not work, but at least we tried, right? Can't hurt to try. This is just, this didn't cost me anything, guys. This is a bunch of stuff I have laying around the house. Okay, so not quite centered, but we're going to have to cut four slices in this, maybe three, might just do three, so let's see here, then I've got to, got to straighten it out a little bit, now this ain't my idea guys, people has been doing making this stuff for years, I just wanted to try it myself, so that's what we're doing. Let me get a pen. Now I don't want to go clear to the center because I'll cut it in half. So I'm just going to go, you know, halfway or whatever. Just like that. Now. I'm going to clamp these. This is my trusty old vice grips here. And I'm going to cut this four ways. Now, I'm going to thread that rod and we're going to put this on there and we're going to give these a twist. Okay? So, I got to get you guys on the charger for a few minutes. Okay, I brought you guys back. As you can see, I ran a die down over here. Some people call them thread chasers, but these are actually, uh, it's actually tap and die set. There is a difference. A thread chaser will not cut threads. It just cleans them up. These, as you can see, cuts a very nice thread. Um, this is not a very expensive, whoops, this is not a very expensive set. I got this at a flea market for like five bucks or something. So, it was well worth that to me just, you know, to be able to do something like this. Even, even if they wouldn't cut threads very good, which they do, it's alright. Uh, I could have always used them for thread chasers. This has also got, uh, it's got dies taps and dies for uh, pipe pipe thread too so let's see how we did all right see that's gonna hold our little deal on there uh, and like I said I don't know how well this is gonna work guys but of course works on the internet just fine right So I'll get that adjusted where I need it to be because then we need something down here kind of like a excuse me a bearing to hold this straight. So now that we're done with that, let me clean some of this up, get it <coughs> excuse me, get it out of our way, and then we'll start on the pump housing. And we'll go from there. See that shaft is going to run down through here. And it's going to pick the water up down here and shoot it out there, in theory. Like I said, works perfect on YouTube. 
but those guys know what they're doing they got better equipment than I do you, I mean some of them guys get serious and uh, they like put all their stuff on, on a metal lathe and they work all this stuff and put little bearings and stuff in and it works great but then you got a guy like me that just throws this crap together and it works just as good it, it gets me but I'll be back with you guys hang tight okay so I did all that without hitting record but I got this on here and what I did was I bent these tabs back a little bit I don't think it matters because I can turn the drill backwards if I have to alright like something like that I want to get them somewhat even Okay, so what this is going to do, this is going to, I've cut this off and I've drilled a hole in that. So what this is going to do, this is going to go down in here like this, very crudely. I've got my hole up in there. I'll get this lined up, there we go. And that's going to come out that hole, just like that. Now supposedly it shouldn't get hot enough to melt this plastic because, you know, there's going to be water coming up through here so that's going to be all the time in water so it shouldn't get too hot now I'm only going to want it you know just big enough just far enough to get the drill on it and what this piece is going to be for I'm going to put a hole in the center of this and it's going to go down over that like that and that's what's going to hold this in from flopping around like that see how it'll flop around so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay this across there. Well, I'm going to drill my hole as center as possible. I'm going to lay this across there, and I'm going to cut a couple notches here. Just cut out a couple notches, and this should slip, set right in there. So that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so this is what I've done. I cut a couple notches down, cut them sides out. Then I cut a slice around this way, and a slice around this way. That way, this can go on here and I can turn that and it locks itself in. I'll also put a nut on the other end there so that way it can it won't slide out so now we're gonna put a short end on a short end on here and we'll see if it works okay I've cut me off a short end like that now let's back you out. In theory, this should work. The drill is going to hook on there. Just like that. That's going to go in the water and it should pump water out. So let me go get a big pan or bucket or something and I'll meet you outside. <laughs> Let's give this a shot, guys. Nothing. Turning. Right. My double nut came loose, look. And it was eaten in to the plastic looks like somewhat let me try to tighten this down alright guys I had to cut it down but this is what I ended up with
So I guess if I would perfect it, it would work. But on YouTube, when they say quick and easy pump, and nah, it ain't that easy. Uh, everything's got to be precise and perfect so no air gets into it. If I had lathes and all that kind of stuff and turn everything perfect, I could do it, but I mean, it, it was pumping, but very little. So, there you go. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye bye, guys. See ya.